Welcome back to Salam Namaste Calgary with me and Salmaji and you are listening to or uh, at uh, uh, Punjabi National Radio 94.7 FM or you can watch us live on Facebook on a Punjabi National Radio Facebook page. You can see that our guest is here, Mr. Riyazuddin Ahmad. Uh, he is in studio, live in studio right now. Or uh, Thank you so much, Riyazuddin Bhai, aap, uh, aap, aapna, to come to our studio. Welcome to our studio. Thank you very much. Yeah. 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 हम आपको काफी दिन से बुलाना चाह रहे थे लेकिन समहाउ दी अदर कुछ सेट नहीं हो रहा था समटाइम्स यू आर बिजी समटाइम्स वी हैड टू मेनी गेस्ट लेकिन आज बहुत अच्छा मौका है क्योंकि समथिंग गुड इज गोइंग टू हैपन एंड पहले आप पहली दफा हमारे स्टूडियो में तशरीफ लाए तो थोड़ा अपने बारे में आप हमारे सुनने और देखने वालों को बताएंगे तो दैट वुड बी वेरी नाइस थैंक यू इट्स अ प्लेजर टू बी हियर Uh, my full name is Riyazuddin Ahmed. Uh, I came to Canada in 1972. So it's almost 50 years now almost. that I'm here. Uh, professionally, I'm an urban planner, mm-hmm. but now I'm retired. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm active in the community uh, as a volunteer Achha. in different organizations. Um, in ni- 2017, yeah. we established a group called Canadians Muslims for Peace and Justice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh the website is www.cmpj.ca.ca. Uh, c- yeah. So people can go there visit and, and, and find out, out yes about, yeah. who we are. Mm-hmm. Um we have been um interested in basically uh two things. Mm-hmm. One is to promote peace and justice Achy. within the canadian society Achy. as well as you know internationally Achy. that's our one of the goals, goals. the other goal is to help our uh, canadian muslims integrate yeah. uh, into the larger canadian okay. mainstream society yeah. so, so do you so have a, a, a whole team or you are a smaller group larger group how do you work yeah since the group is a bit um, focused on these things mm-hmm. we need people of like minded thinking ji bilkul so we are a bit restricted mm-hmm. uh, we have not opened up our membership okay. to everybody okay uh, the founding uh, trustees are 35 okay but we right now have vacancies okay. because some people have left uh, okay. for mm-hmm. different reasons okay. uh, but we want to maintain our number at this level mm-hmm. and we encourage people to become supporting members mm-hmm. and the fees is only 10 dollars okay and after they have been active with us for a, for a year minimum mm-hmm. uh, depending upon their interest in the organization mm-hmm. depending on their work for the organization then the trustees can induct mm-hmm. from the supporters mm-hmm. as a full trustee full okay. trustee okay. so okay. that's the process So it is open only this board is open only for Muslims or the non-Muslims can join. Five percent can be non-Muslims. Five percent yes. out of that. Okay. Yes. Okay. So you know when you five percent, five members, members out of thirty-five can be can be uh, non-Muslims. Non-Muslims. Yes. Okay. So you like like in reason for like your like your organization name is the Canadian Muslim for Peace and Justice yeah. so did you see anything or like and what was the reason to start this yeah. group was there anything did you see or you can share with us ki aapne kya aisa dekha ki aapko maza nahi aaya the western policies towards the muslim world mm-hmm. are not very constructive mm-hmm. most of the time mm-hmm. particularly now that the cold war between the russians and the americans is over mm-hmm. you know except for the new ukrainian war yeah uh, americans were losing interest in the development and human development and aid to the muslim countries in general yeah, yeah. and that led to some uh, interferences interventions in the muslim world which have created a backlash within the host western countries against muslims against islam yeah you know against muslim women and so on and so forth mm-hmm. so our group aim is to first of all make canada a sober second thought in international affairs mm-hmm. so that 
Canada's role becomes more constructive, more peaceful, mm -hmm. more oriented towards human justice mm -hmm. and welfare. Mm -hmm. So this group is meant to speak up, to um, convey opinions and messages which will keep Canada a peaceful and a just society as a model for the rest of the world. For the rest of the world. Yeah. So that's our, that's our broad, broad. Yeah, yeah, idea. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these were the issues which, particularly after 9-11, mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. you know how yeah. it started uh, the basically image of after Muslims that. and Islam yeah. were yeah. affected. Yeah. 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 So this group is meant to improve our image mm -hmm. by positive contributions. Yeah. Positive. So we have uh, partnered with the University of Calgary. Mm -hmm. We have started some scholarships. Uh, we have started some lecture series. Mm -hmm. uh, we have started conferences. Mm -hmm. So a, new, a conference is coming up on December 3rd, mm -hmm. which I want you to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. And this conference is theme is Western interventions in the greater Middle East and its impacts and lessons for Canada. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And how do we go forward? Mm -hmm. You know. So that's the purpose of this conference. Yeah. Our keynote speaker is a, a ex uh, foreign minister of Canada mm -hmm. during Prime Minister Kretien's time, mm -hmm. Mr. John Manley. Mm -hmm. He has agreed to come okay. uh, to be the keynote. Okay. And uh, the conversation he, we are going to have with him will not be a sort of a, he just stands up and yeah. gives a lecture. No. It will be more like a fireside chat. Mm -hmm. So we have a host. Yeah. He's a professor at the University of Calgary. Right. Who's going to then have a chat with him about these interventions what are his opinions, yeah. what do you think are the outcomes, yeah. what lessons we have for Canada, mm -hmm. how we can go forward mm -hmm. with improving our relations, mm -hmm. etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So um, in this uh, 35 members you have, do you have younger um, people also? Because yes. now this, our aim has to be that we involve the younger people so that they bring... Uh, more, uh, you know, uh, discussions about what is going on. So how uh, do you get more uh, members, younger this members? This is a very important point. Thank you for asking me. Okay. Um, we know mm -hmm. that our future depends on our next generation. Yeah, you're right. So we need our next generation to be very comfortable in Canada. You're so right. And they should be a very productive mm -hmm. and, and integrated mm -hmm. and contribute to the well-being of Canada, mm -hmm. you know, in mm -hmm. whatever way they can. They can, yeah. Not only by doing jobs mm -hmm. this and that, mm -hmm. but by participating in the civil society mm -hmm. and contributing mm -hmm. as volunteers, as, you know, service providers to the community mm -hmm. at large, along with service to their own community, right. you know. So we have uh, two positions mm -hmm. on our board, mm -hmm. which is composed of nine members, okay. and two are, are youth, yeah. Yeah. one girl and one boy. Okay. So that's an important factor, okay. an important consideration in our structure. And when okay. we had the founding uh, meeting mm -hmm. for the organization, CMPJ, we invited youth. Okay. And 10, 12 of them were there. Okay. And they volunteered and they became a member of the wow. board. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah. And we are also interacting with the MSA at the university, okay. Muslim Students Muslim Association, Student Association. Okay. so that we are able to connect with the university mm -hmm. going mm -hmm. young Muslims okay. in Calgary. Okay. So that's one of our uh, you know, approach. approach. Yeah. Okay. So because, you know, we are in a Western world, and I think we are blessed to be in Canada. 
लेकिन हमारे आई थिंक दिस इज अ ग्रेट थिंग यू आर इन्वॉल्विंग यूथ ऑन द अदर साइड आई थिंक दैट्स वेयर एवरीथिंग स्टार्ट्स लाइक योर बेस हैज टू बी स्ट्रांग एज वेल तो आप तो तो ये आपकी कितनी कॉन्फ्रेंसेस हो चुकी है बट यू सी एनी चेंजेस एनी वो लाइक व्हाट आर द बुक लाइक यू नो पॉजिटिव फ्रॉम द द फर्स्ट कॉन्फ्रेंस वाज इन 2020 एंड इट वाज ऑन द थ्रेट टू द मुस्लिम social economic political well being in canada mm-hmm. from the right wing mm-hmm. the extremist groups right. yeah. Yeah. which yeah. are yeah. emerging in canada yeah. right so that was our first conference mm-hmm. here in calgary nice and then we had a pandemic came mm-hmm. so then we had an online mm-hmm. uh, 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 you know at the university with a american professor a lady professor talking about the challenges which the muslims are facing mm-hmm. and 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 the perceptions about islam in north america yeah which is very negative right yeah. now yeah. so yeah. she gave a very good talk mm-hmm. you know and and how we can improve and a basic message is we have to get involved yeah. yes with the community yeah. in yes. all the good things, things. you know uh, yeah. which are happening around us yeah. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. should contribute we should become members yeah. we should participate we should yeah. volunteer yeah. we should donate yeah. and time and money yeah. you know yeah. so so that's the way to become part of the larger society true yeah. and believe me canada has the potential to become a kind of a shining northern star mm-hmm. you know for, to demonstrate how a multicultural multi ethnic society can live together mm-hmm. in peace and in harmony and 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 uh, become a model you know, for the rest of the yeah. world which is divided over so many things yeah. Yeah. you know and in canada um we see that canada has given us that freedom sure. um to each and every religion to do what they want to do how they want to celebrate but do everything peacefully yes and that is the most important thing what we see in canada absolutely so now what are you when you did it 2 years ago and have, is this the second one you are going to have this the, is the second one large so one. now in 2 years when you had the first one did you find any um, change or anything which it was positive from outcome from that conference the attendance yeah was more than 200 people okay and they so, were from only oh, muslim no no from, from it, it is open to everybody, everybody. it's okay. op- open to everybody okay. so even if you can change the mind of one person i was going to you know, say that yeah it, it's a it's a positive yeah, outcome achievement yeah it's an you achievement know. yeah uh one of the surveys about the muslim image mm-hmm. in canada mm-hmm. reveal that generally there are 44% of canadians mm-hmm. who have a negative opinion about muslims and islam mm-hmm. right now and and that mm-hmm. is a little higher yeah a little yeah. higher yeah yeah but among those canadians yeah. non muslim canadians mm-hmm. who have muslim canadians as friends mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. who come to know them yeah. the percentage is very high very high yeah you know so a lesson for us is we must become integrated Invested. Invested. we must socially integrate yeah. we must socially interact mm-hmm. with our neighbors you know in our offices yeah. workplaces we should join unions we should join professional associations and so right. and uh, you know you cannot say islam is peaceful yeah. and people believe in it when we know extremists yeah, are behaving in a different yeah. way yeah. Yeah. the only way you can project a good image of islam is by your own self by your own model how you behave with your neighbors and with your you know with your colleagues and with your friends and in your office and so on and so forth so so that's as simple as that you know mm-hmm. and cmpj is trying to do that you know right. trying to do that yeah. so you know nowadays the social media it becomes so giant or so huge now and so many there are so many if you want to take advantage from the social media you can do that there are, there are there are so many positives so as your organization are they doing anything to kind of give some uh, or like an educate people how to use the social media because there are right things there are wrong things depends yeah. what you see what you watch yeah 
we cannot control the we cannot social control. media. Yeah. I mean, there's no way. But yeah. we can have our own websites. Yeah. We exactly. can have our yeah. uh, Twitter account and yeah. this and that. Yeah. But beside that, from our perspective, it is the young mm. generation mm -hmm. which is coming up, mm -hmm. which is more progressive, mm -hmm. which is more uh, international. Mm -hmm. You know, and universities are the best place. Yeah. Yes. You know, to interact with them. Yeah. And to and to sh sort of engage them mm -hmm. in our activities. Mm -hmm. So, for example, this year we have started a, a scholarship for media studies mm -hmm. at the University nice, of Calgary. Nice subject, you yeah. Know, it will be geared towards Muslim students, mm -hmm. you know, but anybody who wants to apply yes. and who has interest in building bridges mm -hmm. with Muslims, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the university will give their scholarship. We, we have just given them the funds. funds. They will decide Thanks. who to give it to. Mm -hmm. But that's what we are trying to do. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, this conference, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We know that before 9/11, there were no Taliban. Before mm -hmm. the Russians came to came to Afghanistan, Afghanistan, there yeah. were no Taliban. There was Taliban, yeah. right? It was the Americans who wanted to fight the Russians, who told the Afghan refugees, "It is your jihad, go and fight." And after that, when the Russians withdrew, Americans withdrew too. An out, outcome of was Taliban. Okay? Before the first Gulf War, 1992, there was no Al Qaeda. No. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Before 2003, invasion of Iraq, yeah. there was no ISIL, mm. Daesh. That's right. So, this conference, we want to show to the public that these interventions are thoughtless, okay. did not achieve any okay. strategic no. benefits no. to the West or Art. to the East. Yeah, right. Okay. Yeah. But what we got was a severe pushback mm -hmm. from yeah. non-state actors, which became ISIL. And ISIL has done so much damage mm -hmm to Islam and to Muslims and their image and the understanding of Islam that even crusades didn't do that much. You know, mm, yeah. this is which the, our own Muslim brothers and sisters, they call, you know, we, you know, they are, they are our Muslim brothers and sisters, but yeah. they are outlaws. Mm. You know, they are, they're extremists. No Thinking Muslim scholar has subscribed to their ideology. Mm. None of them. Mm. Not so whatsoever. In Canada, more than 100 scholars came together and condemned the activities of ISIL. Mm. Mm. So this conference, hopefully, we will be able to show and discuss mm -hmm. that not thought through actions by the West in the developing world, in the Muslim world, can have very bad consequences. Mm -hmm. And look, they went to fight Taliban mm -hmm. to regime change. Mm -hmm. And after 10 years, yeah. trillions of dollars, dollars yeah. thousands yeah. of people dead yeah. on both sides, yeah. hundreds and thousands of yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. children's handicapped, Mm -hmm. This and that, Taliban are back in power. Yeah. So why did we go there? Yeah. Our our brave Canadian soldiers gave their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, in Afghanistan, 154 yeah. of them died. Yeah. And hundreds were injured. Injured. Yeah. But we have nothing to show for it. Mm -hmm. So so we want to make Canadians aware. Yeah. Through these kind of conferences mm -hmm. and conversations. Mm -hmm that we would like Canada to become a more thoughtful player mm -hmm. in the world mm -hmm. rather than become ideological. Yeah. You know, big powers have their own agendas. Yeah. Canada is a middle power. We should play a more sober 
role in international affairs. Yeah. So and, sorry, yes. go ahead, go ahead. And that's yeah. one of our aims, yeah. you know, to make yeah. people aware yeah. through these kind of conferences. Yes. Yeah. So how are you uh, promoting it other than uh, social media? I know that's the biggest uh, help. But other than how are you uh, promoting your conference, when is happening, or what are the, what, is there any cost to it, and what time it's going to start? So what's happening exactly so that our viewers and listeners yes. get, yeah. First of all, thank you for inviting me. Oh, yeah, more you than know, welcome. This is one of the uh, you know, ways you could promote. Promote. So just go to the www.cmpjca website, mm -hmm. and out there is a registration site okay. for this, this conference, conference, and people can just register. Mm -hmm. This is a free conference. Mm -hmm. We will also provide free uh, lunch break and mm -hmm. meal at that time. Mm -hmm. We have raised enough funds uh, for, for, this, for this to happen. It's a very good call. And, yeah. uh, and, and our speakers, None of them are charging any speaking fees. Wow. None That's of them so ask for any honorariums. Yeah. Mm. So it's a great blessing a great you know, yeah. uh, that our speakers are generous, yeah. uh, including Mr. Manley. Yeah. All he said was, give some money to some charity on my behalf. Oh, nice. Isn't that so nice? nice. Isn't mm, so so nice. nice. Similarly, another professor, he said, give some charity, you know. Oh, this great. is the kind of spirit we need, yeah. you know. And it's happening on which date and where? Okay, December 3rd yeah. at the Red and White Club mm -hmm. on off Crow Child mm -hmm. okay. next to the stadium. Stadium, yeah. yeah. It's part of the university complex. Yeah. Yeah. Stadium, yeah. yeah. So in the big hall there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's where the conference will be. Okay. And we hope to get at least 100 or more people. You will get more. Inshallah. 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 And so we have put on different websites. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a member of the uh, Calgary Interfaith Council, Interfaith Council, so I've sent it to them yeah. uh, to put Promote. it up there on their yeah. churches, yeah. bulletin boards, yeah. you mm -hmm. know, uh, and let people know, mm -hmm. and uh, so that they can register. Yeah. And uh, so that's how we are promoting, promoting it. Yeah. And of course, MSA is putting the posters in the universities. The MRU university people are putting up the posters. Nice. So we want to bring more youth. Yeah. 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 As many yeah. youth yeah. as possible. That is, will you be know. great. Yeah. Yeah. So we selected Saturday, yeah. so which is an off day for them, yeah. uh, so that they can come. They can come. And what time it starts? It starts 10.30 yeah. uh, and ends about 4. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nice, so with the lunch break. Yes, and yeah. one of the very important yeah. presentation in mm -hmm. this conference is going to be a resolution mm -hmm. from the CMPJ. Okay. The resolution is going to demand mm -hmm. from the government of Canada okay. that it should lead an amendment uh -huh. to the United Nations Charter. Okay. Under Chapter 7, okay. there are provisions in the United Nations Constitution or Charter, as yeah. it is called, of when United Nations can take military action. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a chapter, in that chapter, there is a section called Section 42. Mm -hmm. And Section 42 says where the United Nations feels that the earlier attempts and, and sanctions, this and that, have not worked, then it can take more aggressive actions by military, uh, uh, yeah. by military. Okay. What it doesn't say is how will that decision be made? Made, yeah. Okay. So mm. we are going to ask the government of Canada to promote a amendment to this Article 42 40, 40, of Chapter okay. 7 of the UN uh, uh, Charter, yeah. which will say no state or group of states shall take any measure mm -hmm. according to this article mm -hmm. without a specific and explicit approval of such action by the United by Nations the Security United. Council. Wow. Mm. wow. Yeah. You know, so... That is a big thing. Mm. Yes. Yeah. So, so, I mean, the, the, the um, amendment procedure, yeah. this goes to the United Nations General Assembly. Mm -hmm. Not to the UN Security Council, mm -hmm. where people have veto power. 
Yeah. Now, this goes to the General Assembly. But the requirement is that the two-third member states plus all the permanent members of, this of, of this the United Nations, Nations. Okay. must approve okay. any amendment mm -hmm. to the Charter. To the Charter, okay. yeah. So it's an uphill task. Okay, this is okay. a big task. This yeah. is an uphill task. So what we will do as a, as a strategy, uh, yeah. we, will send, we will send this to the, our Prime Minister, mm -hmm. Foreign Minister, mm -hmm. asking for this action. Mm -hmm. But then we will send it to the Secretary Generals, of Secretary Generals Gen of, of UN, UN. Yeah. Organization of Islamic Countries, mm -hmm. EU, European, European Union, Union, African Union. Okay. Okay. The Union of the Latin American States in South America mm -hmm. and ASEAN. Wow. So that they all Big become thing. active. Yeah. And we will show in as a preamble to this resolution how these wars of regime change mm -hmm. have damaged, damaged whole societies. Millions have become refugees. Yeah. We had to accept refugees ourselves. So many, yeah. You know, from from these wars. wars. Yeah, yeah, Europe right. has taken. Yeah. Germany has taken one million. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So why are we uprooting these people? Yeah. You know, and then trying to bring them into our own our own countries, and then we have a backlash. Mm. You know, why are we? There are groups here in Canada who say, why are we importing these terrorists? So mm. so so, this world organization needs to rethink yeah. its powers yeah. and how to use them. How to use them, yeah. You know. So, inshallah, inshallah. this will be a, not in my lifetime because <laughs> it takes a long time to get these <laughs> but kind of you amendments. Have, but you, you people are sowing the seeds for Yes, we are, yeah. we are showing the way. Yeah. We are showing yeah. the way. That's uh, the way it should yes. be, you know. Like yes. You try your best how to promote it, how to sow the seeds, and then somewhere somebody one, two, three, some people will. We, we will yeah. contact all the peace and justice and human rights groups internationally. Wow. Mm. So that they can talk to their own government and say, this is a good amendment. Yeah. You know, inshallah, yeah. inshallah, we'll go that route. Inshallah, good for inshallah. You. Good for you. Commendable. Yeah, yeah commendable. You. Yeah. So you are listening and watching to Jai Salaam Namaz Kelly. Our Sajjah is in Ahmed. Their conference is on December 3rd. At the black and white, uh, red and white, red and white, red and white club yeah. at the McMahon Stadium. Yeah. Uh, Natasha, thank you so much for watching. Uh, Rana Satwad as well, thank you so much bhai, for watching, and uh, Sony as well. Okay, where and uh, where can we register yeah. if One someone wants to attend? Uh, as I said, yeah. go to www.cmpj.ca, and okay. there's a site there, right there, uh, on the top. And okay. is, is there and is there a Title for this conference? Does it yeah, say it's called Western okay. Interventions Russian. in the Greater Middle, Middle East. East. And they go to that one. Yeah, they yeah. click on it, and there yeah. is a there is a QR bar. Bar. Uh -huh. So you just you take just your phone, phone and you take a photo, and you register. You'll be registered. Yeah, yeah great. That's sure. an easy thing. Awesome. Yeah, and and you know the site you have chosen, the place you have chosen, the day. All these things count towards the success of uh, any event. Yes. When you choose something, you know, everything is, is, is promoting it. The, the day, the time, the, uh, the, the guests, the speakers, um, everything, you know, puts everything together. Yes, it does. And, it um, does. and I think um, what you have told us, it's eye-opener for everyone. And inshallah, by this conference, one, two, ten, I, we hope many people get you know, inspired. inspired by this. Yes. You we saw. want to inspire yeah, Canadians, yeah. you know, yeah. to be the leaders yeah. in peace and justice, you know, ho at home and abroad. And abroad. Yeah. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. 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 Okay. So, yes, thank you so much, yeah, And all the best to you time. on December 3rd. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Inshallah. And thank there you as for well. coming. Thank you for having, uh, for, you know, being here. Very and pleasure. inshallah, after the conference, uh, we will try one day to get you again. Now you have yes. no, come to know our studio. Yes. And then we will talk, how did you feel? How did it go? Oh, no. What what happened? What you felt? How the discussion the went? The postmodern. The postmodern. And yeah. that is really important because yes. 
that will be very effective yes. after you talking about yes. it. Yes. And I think we will get Inshallah. you again. Inshallah. Inshallah. No. Thank, thank, you thank you so much thank for being here. Thank you and much. thank you for driving all the way. <laughs> and thank you. Okay. So yeah. this is show. Okay. Inshallah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Thank you so much, thank you so much for everyone. being with us. And we'll see you next week. And Shabbat and good night. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Thank you so yeah. much.